Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. In our previous session, we shed light on the complexities of fiat currencies and highlighted the need for change. Today, we turn the pages of history and trace the evolution of a game-changing innovation that aims to address these challenges, cryptocurrencies. It's a fascinating story that begins not in a time of prosperity, but during a period of crisis. The year was 2008. The world was in the grip of a severe financial crisis, causing widespread distress. Banks were failing, economies were shaking, and people's trust in the traditional financial system was rapidly eroding. It was in this turmoil that an unknown person or group of people under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto introduced Bitcoin, the first digital currency or so-called cryptocurrency. To this day, it is still unknown who this is and there are plenty of interesting theories around it. But this rabbit hole is not today's topic. Do you know how and why Bitcoin was groundbreaking? It wasn't just a new form of money. It was a new way of creating and managing money. Instead of a central authority like a bank or a government, Bitcoin operated on a technology called blockchain. This decentralized distributed ledger system enables secure, transparent and tamper-proof transactions, offering an exciting alternative to traditional financial systems. We don't want to get too technical here for now, but it was the first time that the so-called double spend problem was solved for a digital currency. Bitcoin's launch ignited a revolution. It gave birth to a whole new asset class called cryptocurrencies. Over time, thousands of different digital currencies have emerged, each with unique attributes and use cases. First, of course, there is Bitcoin. You can see it as peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash without in any intermediary. Also, there's Ethereum, which introduced the concept of smart contracts, self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement directly written into the code. Smart contracts can be seen as self-executing computer programs that are located on a blockchain. And of course, there's our very own Islamic coin, designed to empower the global Muslim community with a Sharia-compliant financial instrument for the digital age. As cryptocurrencies continue to evolve, they're reshaping the landscape of finance and beyond. Check out the three amazing effects that cryptocurrencies can have on the world. So first, they're offering a new, efficient way to conduct transactions, making cross-border payments as simple as sending an email. Second, cryptocurrencies are creating a more inclusive financial system, giving the unbanked population of the world a chance to participate in the global economy. And lastly, the third, cryptocurrencies provide a level of transparency and security that traditional systems have always struggled to offer. Just for a second, please imagine a world where sending money across the globe is, is as easy as chatting with a friend. Imagine a world where you can participate in the global economy, whether you're in a bustling city or a remote village. And imagine a world where your financial transactions are secure, transparent and tamper-proof. That's the potential of cryptocurrencies. As we move forward, it's important to remember that we're at the very early stages of this revolution and we're still exploring its full potential, navigating its challenges and learning to harness its power for the benefit of all. But one thing is clear, cryptocurrencies are more than just a new form of money. They're a powerful tool that has the potential to redefine banking from the very beginning, finance and also even the structure of society itself today. So as we close this session, let's ponder on this thought. We're not just learning about a new technology, we're witnessing a transformation that could shape the future of our world. The evolution of money continues and we have a front row seat. In our next lesson, we'll delve deeper into the technology that powers cryptocurrencies, the blockchain. It's a fascinating topic and I look forward to exploring it with you. Thank you for joining us in this lesson and see you in our next one.